On today's episode, we are doing an extreme makeover on my son's bedroom. We've already begun and I'm gonna show you what's going on here in just a second. But first I wanna thank The Home Depot for sponsoring this episode. I got some really cool stuff from their website and I cannot wait to share it with you. But first I wanna tell you a little bit about what's going on. Okay, you can see that we've already started to tear a hole in this wall and that's because right over here, we are putting in a new door and right next to it, we're putting another new door because we are splitting this very large bedroom into two bedrooms for my sons. It was just a big open space and we needed the bedroom space, so that's what we're doing. But before we can even put up the wall, we had to remove a ceiling fan because it was right smack dab in the center of where we're putting in the wall. And in order to do that, we needed to do some electrical. So I've got my brother-in-law, Jared, here. I enticed him with Disney, but then I put him to work. <laughs> Am I terrible or what? No, you're not terrible. <laughs> so he's a master electrician. He's based out of Southern Idaho. He's amazing. So if you need any electrical work done and you're in the Idaho area, I'm gonna link his information below. He does impeccable, amazing work. You're gonna love hiring him. And he's a really hard worker. That's what they say. <laughs> so tell me what you're gonna do here. So I've got a couple of fan boxes marked out that I'll cut into the ceiling. And nice little nails hanging out here. Then we'll get rid of this one and move the switches away from the doorway because okay. switches and doorways don't mix. So they'll come over here, make sure that we're out of the way of the doorway. Perfect. Separate the switching so that one of the two boys doesn't have control. We don't want the boys fighting <laughs> over the lights. They need to be separated. That's true. <laughs> and then that outlet over there needs to get moved to the side as well. So it's out of the way of the closet. Perfect. So I'm going to give him one of my Athena drills to have him test out and see how good of job if it can keep up to contractor pace. So does that sound fair? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's, it's done pretty good so far. Yeah, he's been working really hard. He's done a whole bunch of stuff all over my house. So if you need a good electrician, you live in Idaho, he's the guy. Committed now. <laughs> okay, before we get too into this extreme makeover, and it is extreme, we are adding walls, we are adding drywall, electrical, wood floors. It has been a task, but it's a, been a labor of love because the two new rooms that we are creating are for my two boys, and it's like their own little private wing. They're gonna love it. And the room that we were starting with was ginormous. I had a lot of questions of why we weren't just using one of the other rooms, because we have plans for all of those rooms. The room that we started with was about 20 by 22 feet. It is a very, very large space to begin with. And so dividing it into two bedrooms, they still have like very large bedrooms. So I know we had people asking about that, but that's why. So the room that we are focusing on today is Camden's. And the reason is because he has been begging me for a larger bed for a while. He sleeps in a twin bed and he's like, I need a big boy bed. <laughs> And so part of his Christmas and probably a big majority of it, he might get some little other things, but we are doing this room makeover and I want to thank Home Depot for partnering on this with me. Did you know that online they have a huge huge collection of home decor stuff. I mean, tons and tons and really great prices, really good quality. I wanna get into the design plan really quick because what I like to do is I like to gather a lot of information online and then I compile a mood board and I usually do that on Milanote and sometimes I do it on Canva and I create an overall look for the room so I can kind of see how everything is looking together. So for example, on the Home Depot's website, I found this amazing 
wing back bed and it was such a great price and the reviews on it were really good so I knew that it was a good quality thing and then also I was able to find a dresser that looked really nice high quality black and then just pulling together I got some bedding my color palettes are gonna be kind of grays greens and blacks for the most part there will be some like undertones of like some beiges and creams and tans and things like that it sounds like all of those things wouldn't work together but if you are looking here on my mood board you can see how even though they seem like they might not work together they really do look together now he's a big sports fan and so there will be some kind of undertones of sports but I've tried to do it in a sophisticated way I found a couple of online digital prints that I think will really pull that in my husband and sons are such sneaker heads and so this should be a really good look like I said I found a lot of the stuff that I'm using on the Home Depot's website they've got really fast shipping it's easy you can return easy if something doesn't work out I am starting to use it more and more just because they have such a huge assortment and on top of it the pricing is amazing so you get quality and good pricing fast shipping easy returns you can't go wrong I just have really been discovering all of the many things that you can find on the Home Depot's website. So right now through December 20th, they are running a sale called the Final Days to Save and it's up to 35% off of home decor, furniture, and mattresses. I did order my mattress from them. It was a great price and it's from a brand that I've bought before. So for all of the details about that, I will link it in my description box below and you can check out all of the things that they have on sale and discover what a huge Huge asset the Home Depot's website can be when it comes to decorating and designing your room so when you are getting ready to do your Christmas shopping if you got any last-minute Christmas shopping still to do check them out there they've got a lot of fast shipping options and maybe you will be able to get a little mini room makeover pulled off in time for Christmas if not there's lots of other like little items you don't have to do a huge room makeover like I am doing but it is a good resource so check that out now let's go get to work. What do you say? Okay, because of our time schedule, I've hired some contractors to help me out with some demo and also adding a wall right here <laughs> where you can't see it. And so over here, this is where the new door will be going into Camden's bedroom and they are gonna be creating that. So that is super good. They're putting the door in there and this is where a wall is gonna go to divide the space. Built that really fast. Thank you. Okay, so it's the end of the day, the first day of really doing heavy construction, and a lot has happened. Let me show you. We have a wall. Oh my goodness, I can envision it now. It's like there. And then we removed the door that was there because they're gonna pull it forward to right here. And then we sneak through this way. They've got it framed out for a door here. So even though it's a mess, a lot has happened in one day. So this will be exciting to see how this comes together. And you can see that they've cut out for the closet. Super excited. So they are drywalling. It looks good, yeah.
have had a lot of work done in here and it's now time for me to come in and do my thing. The first thing we need to do is prime this new wall on both sides. Everything that is new drywall needs to get some primer. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then we're gonna paint the room while the flooring is out. We've got it ripped out because we are installing wood floor and it's going in tomorrow. So I'm gonna do my best to get it painted prior to then. We'll see what we can do. We might have to work around it, but I'm really excited. It's taking shape. These are good size bedrooms. And so I'm just thrilled. This is gonna work out perfectly for our family. So we finished painting the walls. I love the color in here. It works very well with the brand new wood floors that we had installed. I've got a little bit of caulking to do around the baseboards. They were pulled back to install the wood floors. In the meantime, it is now time to build the furniture that we ordered from Home Depot. And I am so excited. This is gonna be such a wonderful bedroom for my son. Let's get building. She's dirty, but she came in really handy in building this. I love my drill. Okay, before we start assembling the bed, I thought it would be a good idea to put the rug down just so I don't have to work around it. It will already be in place. And so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm obsessed. This bed is beautiful and the price was amazing. I am seriously so impressed. So now it's time to get the box spring on the mattress. It's a box mattress. So we're, all we have to do is get it all situated and then we'll fluff up in place. And then we've got a lot of other things to do like hanging curtains and accessorizing and all of that stuff. So this is looking good.
so these shiny brass looking ones are nice, but I had these kind of aged ones that I think will look a little bit better. So I'm gonna actually just switch those out. These were in my stash. And so I just think it will be kind of an easy upgrade. It's really nice as it is. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't that look so good? I might as well make them all match, <laughs> so. placing some of the art around the room. My son loves Jordan and Nike and all of that. So I got some digital prints online and just printed them out. And I think that that will look really good on this wall. And then on this wall, I've got a print that I did a long time ago from his old bedroom. And we're gonna play around with some of the accessories and just get things looking really good in here. Steam the curtains, do all of the finishing touches. Woo! <laughs> it's been a lot of work. There's a few like little tiny touch up things that we still need to do that I probably won't make it for this episode, but we're gonna do our best. <laughs> all have like really bad dust and asthma and allergies. So that's one of the reasons we decided to go with wood floors. But I just put on a mattress encasement to kind of prevent dust mites from getting in the mattress. And I have to say this mattress is so comfortable. It's like supportive and soft. Sorry, son, I'm keeping your mattress. You can't have this room anymore. <laughs> just kidding. Let's make the bed, what do you say? After a lot of work, a lot of work, the room is done and I am absolutely thrilled. Well, it's like 90 to 95% done. There are a couple of areas that need a little bit of tweaking and finishing off. The closet doors need some hardware. I haven't been able to decide on what I wanna do and it needs painted and some trim around it. Other than that, we are there and I really hope that he likes it. I am obsessed with this bed. It's beautiful. The price is amazing. The mattress is super, super comfortable. Love that. I love how we switched out the hardware on the nightstands and the dresser to make it all kind of cohesive. They match without being matchy-matchy. And so I love the basketball display, all of the artwork that we've done. The floors, can we talk about the floors? I am so excited. This wood is pretty much in every place that was carpeted before, with the exception of a couple places that I've got some still ideas to do, but that's all in episodes to come. I am so excited to just keep on what we're doing, but I just really wanted to give my son his Christmas gift a little bit early, but he really was intent on having a big boy bed since he's now a teenager or almost a teenager. So I really hope that he loves this room.
again to The Home Depot for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget to go check out their Final Days to Save event that's going on right now through December 20th. All the information is linked in my description box below. Check it out. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe because I just bought a house. This is the first room that we really tackled in it, so there is a lot more to come. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.